Hello everybody and welcome back to the seventh stand user. Uh, I fixed my microphone problem from before, which was really bugging me during editing because there wasn't anything I could do about it. But uh, we're ready to continue. We're in Hong Kong and uh, let's talk to these people. The plane crashed. It really did, I tell you. Yeah, it sure did. I was there. What's your deal? You're Japanese, but you look like hell. What the fuck does that mean? Bet you got mugged on the way over here, didn't you? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Uh, well, not yet. You can't use food items in battle, so be mindful of your medicine supply. I did wonder. That's really funny. That's oddly realistic, because I, I saw that um, the rice balls and stuff were blanked out uh, during the actual battle. But the Dora Cola I can use? I, I guess it doesn't count as food. That's interesting, though. If you get exhausted, you don't always have to stay at a hotel. You can recuperate by eating food items, too. Canned drinks don't have a lot of nutritional <laughs> Canned drinks don't have a lot of nutritional value, so they don't restore as much health as a balanced meal. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, why not? Material stands usually inhabit physical objects like dolls or vehicles. Damaging these objects will damage the stand as well. That's not always the case, I don't think. Material stands are incapable of physical attacks and appear translucent like ghosts. Material stands have less special techniques, that should be fewer special techniques, but have higher attack and defense. Immaterial stands have lower stats, but they also have a large arsenal of commands available to them. Okay, yep, I will do that. Okay, I guess I can't go there. Twice cooked pork, that sounds really good. Uh, sure. Okay, well, I should have read that. Okay, uh, 15, 5, that's not great, but it's cheap. And I don't remember if tea is drinkable during battle? It might be. I might get the Jiaolong Bao and the... The pork is probably... Yeah, you know, I'll get one of each. Minus the tea, cause fuck it. Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't realize I didn't get to keep them. Well, anyway, no I won't. Not yet. Military rations. It's a lot though. Well, if it's five per bottle, that's pretty that's pretty good. I'll take three. Nope. Uh Yeah, I have to use this outside of battle, so. I'll take one. Cool! Alright. Cool. Hey there, Jap Japunjan. Or Yapunyan? Have you been to Tiger Bomb Garden yet? No, I have not. It's cool, but you'll probably think it's not much to look at compared to King Kakuji. I don't know what that is. Oh, hey, there's a little sign up there. Whoa, okay. Man who teleports. It's one of Dio's underlings! Oh my god, he's a martial artist! <laughs> Shit, okay. Uh, uh, I'll just normally attack him and see. Flying kick. That's, that's pretty decent. God, I hate when they trip me. Okay, he's pretty hardy compared to the other guys. Okay, three hits. That's not too bad. And I got a coffee? That's not bad. Uh. Oh, I thought that was a dog. I saw a suspicious looking guy wearing a hood earlier. When he said rhinoceros, huge rocks started falling from the sky. I'm serious, you better not get involved with that guy. Is this the meteor stand from part six? Stand. Right, no sorrows. I guess he got- I guess he got exploited. Oh my god. I just couldn't stop eating. <laughs> the food here is so good. It, it really is like that sometimes. Well, I guess I can't- can't get by you because you ate too much. That's a shame. Uh, what's in here? Oh, is this an inn? Can you souvenirs on- <gasps> I can get souvenirs for my sister! But it's nice to bring them home as a mentor for- Yeah, I want some! Buff man. This is the souvenir shop. Cool. Uh, what about you? What an adorable stuffed panda. Okay, can I can I get the tea set? Egg tart. That sounds really fucking good, dude. Oh my god. Okay, so the panda you really just can't use. Tortoise jelly. Interesting. I want to try it, but I should really probably be saving up my money. Uh, I guess if it's a dessert, it's still probably not useful during battle, which I really should have more of. Okay, well, I'll come back here, maybe. Okay. Mild 7? From a distance, I thought it said Aldi. 
Sorry, I was interrupted and then I got ambushed by one of Dio's underlings while I was talking. That's fun. Whirlwind kick. Man, I should really keep an eye on my health. I'm actually not doing too bad though, for health, rather. Oh, I fell over! Shit! Okay, well... Stop. Dude! I swear to god. Dude! Oh my god, dude, dude. Okay, thank you. Jesus. Only 20 XP though. How am I doing for XP? Oh, okay, that, that's pretty cool. Uh, oh. <laughs> hey, that means I can actually get past this guy. After you enter the restaurant, you won't be able to return to Hong Kong. Oh, <laughs> I guess because it's the, uh, oh, you know, it's the Polnareff fight. Macho man! You're not gonna believe this, but I've been seeing huge bees everywhere lately. But no one else can see them. It's so weird. Maybe I'm weird? No, you just have to stand. Yeah. I wonder if anything will come of that. Have some of Hong Kong's world famous skewered fish balls. Uh, as in, like, fish don't have testicles, right? Don't. Well, I actually do want one, so. Oh! I have. I have some cash! <laughs> oh no, I'm getting hooked on these waffles. And I wasn't. Well, I probably recovered HP, right? Please tell me at least. Okay, that's. Yeah. What does the stomach egg actually do, though? I, I do have medicine for it. Well, I'll just landslide real quick. Throne is hurt from the stomach ache! Oh, like, it's like poison effect? That's funny. Oh, I got another rock avalanche. Okay. Uh, nurse skills. Okay, so this is like, specifically... I guess the difference is it costs less um, SP. Uh, what about you? Guide Dan Jai for sale. Oh, I do. But... But I have stim cash! Maybe after this fight. Oh, it's just murder dolls. That's fine. Things, things you don't expect yourself to say in life very much. Oh, it's just murder dolls. That's okay. That's manageable. Well... Oh, there's still a decent amount of... Um, XP. I don't know why I keep saying HP. No. No, I don't. You gave me stim shash. <sighs> okay. I wanna- I wanna try it. Yum! Okay, hey. Boy. This is one of those games where I'll probably have to do some grinding off screen, huh? I do like grinding. But... Oh, you dodged? You dodged, did you? Well... I don't think that's very- Unleashed energy! Oh, it- oh, it's like, it just- it just died. That was a last resort. No littering. Okay. I have a lot of these. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Mad Dolls. More food! Would you like some Nitra? I, I can't, I can't! Dude, if, if I was traveling for real, I'd be trying all this stuff. It sounds really awesome. I've never ridden one. Can I ride it? I wanna. I wanna try. Oh, okay. Thanks for telling me. <gasps> the coffee from the... It, it cured my stum shash. Oh my god. Oh, sorry. Really dick move to just walk into a restaurant and then not eat anything. No! Why would I want that? Okay, what was the coffee specifically called? GE coffee. Oh, it counts as poison. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna be healed up before- God, that martial artist guy is fast. I don't know if I'm gonna be healed up before my fight with Paul Nareff. But that's probably gonna be a team battle, because I'm- Oh, well, actually, I don't know. I hope I don't challenge him one-on-one. -on -one. That would- that would be a very bad idea. Our stands are not a good matchup. Well, it's a good matchup for him. It's not good for me. Oh my god, you guys. Can- can you all just chill for a second? Uh, Mark Avalanche. Oh, well, it's a bad range, but... Oh well. That was- that was my B, but it's okay. Okay, okay, just let me through. Hmm. 
Nice. Honestly, I'll probably cut a lot of the combat that doesn't really lead anywhere. Really been cracking down on unlicensed street merchants like me lately. Get them all taught, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I have limited money. Actually, you know what? Okay, it, it wasn't- Jesus, can you stop teleporting? What is this? Oh! <laughs> it's a fucking bug! Green Hornet! Oh, it's kind of cute. Anyway. Okay. God, they don't take much damage. Uh... Hmm. Landslide. Wow, yeah. Really... I wonder if I should wait for them to get closer? Or I could just keep attacking forever. Oh! Don't stop! Don't poison me! Oh, my stomach cake's fine now. That's nice. Okay, well... These guys are a little tougher, but... More experience for me. Okay, you look suspicious. Hey kiddo, give me all your cash! No! Fro? Is that how you say? If you don't want my, my rhinoceros to show you a world of pain, you better hand it over. Well... Okay, well that, it was weird that the music started and stopped for a second. Anyway, uh... Yeah, I don't know what this guy's deal is, so I'm actually gonna play this a little safe. Okay! Okay. Okay, okay, his stand appeared behind him. I'm gonna... Okay, we're gonna be- we're gonna be a bit cautious. Nice. Okay, well... Oh wait, but his stand- oh, his stand is like a separate thing? That's cool. Well... I wonder... what that means for this fight. Like, if I defeat one before the other, does it make a difference? Uh... I think he is actually at medium range, so... Yeah, maybe if I don't use attacks that uh, affect all the enemies, I have to attack- I have to choose who I get to attack. Oh, your attacks are shit, dude. Though I guess the real danger is probably his stand. God, it has a lot of HP! Starting to think putting it to sleep was the right move, actually. Okay. Oh, nice! Okay! My stand! Yeah! Oh! Okay. <laughs> anchovy pizza! Yay! <laughs> I mean, I don't really like anchovy pizza. But I can just pick it off, I guess. I'm sorry, I won't extort people anymore! I just got the special power so I got carried away. <laughs> I'm really sorry, so please leave me alone. No, give me more things. In fact, you're on my payroll now. You go continue extorting people, and I- and- but you gotta give me a cut. In fact, you gotta give me most of it. Who's this guy? Convenience stores are great. They're always open, even when I'm looking late. I guess you could say they are convenient. Okay, how about you? Uh, Pigtail girl. I just saw Silverhead Stunner on the way here. <laughs> Wonder where he was headed. To hell. I'm gonna kill him later. I can't believe she thought he was hot. That's, that's absurd. Uh... It's one of these... Actually, I don't think I equipped anything. Uh... I guess it would be status, right? Oh, but I... Man! Do I have to equip them during battle? Is that the idea? Or I guess... They're like battle items. That's probably why I have multiple of them. But they're so expensive! It's crazy. It's crazy. Uh, I wonder when the elemental stuff's gonna be more obvious. Wow, I can't believe you took down Fro. Maybe you can take down that guy over there too. He might die though. Wait, is that Rohan? That looks like Rohan. Traveling manga artist. Hang on, okay. I- I talked about this with Evo off screen, but like, we- we- like, I went and looked up Rohan's age, and Diamond is Unbreakable takes place like 10 years after Star Crusaders. And Rohan is like 20 years old and Diamond is Unbreakable, so that means, as of right now, he should be 10 years old. <laughs> like, what is he doing already publishing so much manga? You may have noticed already, but stands are typically either material or immaterial. Material stands usually- okay, yeah, I know. Wait, actually, hang on. This, like, I know this stuff lore-wise, but I don't know how this applies to the battle, so I should actually listen. 
Okay, material stands, physical objects. Okay, yep, like the dolls. Uh, physical attacks. Okay, so rhinoceros is that. Uh, they have fewer special techniques, but higher attack and defense. Lower stats, but they have a larger arsenal of commands available to them. Okay, I mean, I'm not sure how much of that I really internalized. I, hang on. Okay, I might just recharge my RCP real quick. Balls. Uh, yeah, have some tea. Uh, and actually, I'm gonna save this guy. This guy looks like he's he's the real deal. Whoa, he's kind of cool. Hmm, I like the look in your eyes. I'm Uta. I work here as a bouncer in between my travels. So what do you say? Would you like to test your strength? Yes. Oh, wow, he's kind of he's kind of posing. So you're the one who took down Froyo. No, I never know how to say that. Another stand user, I presume. I think you'll find I'm a much tougher opponent than he. Prepare yourself. Okay. Well, um, uh, one of them is like. I don't think I have confusion. Well, darkness is used. Saints! Oh, he, oh, he got clo- Whoa, that's kind of spooky. But he wasn't affected. Oh, but Saints- Okay, so his name. Wait, then what's Burns? Wait, does he have two? That's not cool. That's not allowed. Uh, okay. Saints and Burns. Okay. Seriously, I don't- you're not supposed to have two. That skull is spooky looking. I don't like it. Okay, I really need to status some of these guys. This is this is getting bad. Uh okay. Uh I'll try sleep. Stop! God. Okay, Utah fell asleep. Okay. Um Oh my god! <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, please tell me I can use at least one of these. Uh, okay. That's a lot. I guess that's for desperate times. I mean, not gonna lie, we're, we're getting- we're kind of getting to desperate times. My man's was not kidding. Alright, I think this is an ointment moment. Alright, well... Is that all you got? Wow, okay, he just lets me go. Alright, well, I'm gonna reload. Because I don't want to waste items. Uh, alright, well... First of all, I'm gonna restore a little more SP than I did. What else do we have? A little. Well... It's actually more than I thought it would be. Uh, what else? Yeah, I'll move along. Okay, sweet. I feel slightly more ready now. All right, let's let's try it again. This this does feel important. I feel like I should fight this guy. Uh, but if I can't do it this time, then I think I'm gonna try a level up a bit more first. Uh, I don't think he has a stands out yet though, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna guard. Okay, well, I wasted an attack, but that's fine. You threw me to the ground? Stop! Dude! God. God, you're OP. Okay, well, sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Jesus, guys. Come on. And then- Okay, only one of them. Only one of them fell asleep, and I'm about to die. God, this fucking guy. Uh... Maybe I'll try using one of those one-use items here, actually. It's, it's annoying that they, uh, they, they have their turn before me. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. Mm. See, this is where it should be obvious about, like, elemental stuff, but I don't really have a counter for fire. 27, that's not bad. Oh, oh, he's on fire. Okay, wait, that's good. Um, go to sleep. Wait, did he- Okay, no, Saints to sleep. Okay. I'm getting confused because there's no way to, um... Okay, well, fine. There, there's no way to, like, check their status between turns and I'm not very good at remembering what happened where, so... 
Ah, oh, man, I really need more things that I can use during battle to recover HP. Uh, I mean, that's the best I got right now. He's on fire! Stop, dude! Jesus! Okay, well... I'm afraid it is all I have for now. So, uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna do a bit of... A little bit of exploring. And, uh... A little bit of grinding. Uh... Yeah, it's tricky because, uh... We really just need more... More items like ointment. We don't really have any. Okay, well... It's not exactly what I wanted to do, but... It's fine. Tell you what, I'm gonna fight a bunch of these guys and I will I'll get back in here uh, when I've actually made some decent progress. But I, I do want to fight Utah before I fight Pomera. Dump, 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 oh. That's all? That's all it does? <laughs> okay. Hyperventilating, man. Oh, help, can't breathe. Can I? I I don't think I can. <laughs> Come on, dude. Where's that idiot husband of mine? That good for nothing. I mean, good question. I got nothing, though. Who's who's this friendly looking fellow over here? Guys, really now? What are you looking at? I don't want to talk to you. Okay. Cool, guys. What is, is that Abdul's fire, like, compass thing? It's an automatic stand, I guess. Oh, it's Burns. This motherfucker. Okay, well, I guess I can have some experience just- I'm on fire now! Damn it! I'm on fire. Wow. Uh, okay. Well, this doesn't bode well. Uh, Dracula. Ron's on fire still! Help him! Okay, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll just use physical text and see how it goes. I need to get a decent idea of his health bar. Okay, three hits. Oh right, I think my sand, like when I just attack normally, it has like a minor chance of inflicting confusion. Man, this guy's tough. Okay, four or five hits. Echoes high, nice. Ah oh, man, okay. I'm, I'm a little ways off being able to beat Utah. Girl's face is bright red. Look like she wants to say something to her boyfriend. <gasps> Can I mind control her into confessing? I uh, never mind. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, I can I can make it happen. I was I was fucking kidding. You can do it, man. You, come on man, you can do it. You manip I manipulated his hand with my stand. A small box dropped to the ground. Oh, oh no, the wedding ring! Wedding ring? I, uh, that is yes! I, I want you to marry me! I, I'm so happy! I've waited so long to hear those words. I, aw, yay! That's cute! Oh, that was actually a decent amount of experience. It was like a hundred or something. I can't believe it. We're getting married! Aw, I did a good thing today, guys! Uh, well, can you go away for a second? Why are those my options, of course? What about it? Yeah, of course! Yes! Why wouldn't I? Hang on. This is a weird enough event. Japanese are so cheap. Okay, well I made that man racist, so now now I gotta now I gotta reload. All right, you got you got two G from me. I, I hope I hope this improves national relations. <laughs> All right. Uh, I didn't talk to this guy. Konji. Oh yeah, that shit's delicious. Hot cola. Do I eat it immediately? Okay, I'm gonna fight this thing. And then uh, if I take damage, I will I will buy those and see if it is just like a normal health restore if I get to keep it. Though again, it really sucks not having that many items that I can use in battle. It, it seems like I really just got to be careful about healing outside of battle. Just got to keep an eye on my HP. Hmm. Not looking great. Okay, how much do I have? Eh. Yeah. I'll take some hot cola as well. Okay. My stomach! Damn it. Well, oh, and it didn't even- well, I, I guess I recovered SP. Oh, I'm getting blasted. My, my stummy. My sore stummy. 
how do I get back there? Can I... Okay, I, I guess that's just the... Kitty! Oh, kitty! Okay. Can you stop teleporting? Thanks. If you really wanted you here, would teleport. No! Of all the places to have engine trouble. Oh, I guess a stand would be useful here. But look, my stand helped a couple propose, so I think that's what's really important. I should have healed. Okay, uh, all right. I'm gonna climb slide, see how that does. Damn it, okay, I need to heal. That's actually not a bad amount of damage, though. Maybe I'll do that. Uh, where's, where's my daughter? My beautiful dark cola. Also, like, I, for some reason it didn't occur to me earlier that, like, the great taste of dark cola is a reference to Josuke's great catchphrase, but I get it now. Okay. Okay, that's not too bad. I guess it's because he's at mid-range, so he's being kind of a bother right now. Okay. Yay. <laughs> okay. Yay. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, rice bowl. Yeah, that's pretty good. Wait, what was the crazy DX again? Oh, I do- I do- It looks like I don't really get to keep party members, so I might as well just use it on myself. Why not? Okay, well, the tram is not the DX underlink. Can I interact with that, please? Alright, whatever. Whatever. Just... Stop! Stop! <laughs> okay, sweet. I wonder if a martial artist comes from, like, a tracing of part one or two or something. Because it, it does kind of look like Araki's art, but I can't recall that specific guy. Those outfits are kind of stereotypical. I guess they're just trying to attract tourists. But you don't see samurai waiters back in Japan. I mean, that sounds kind of sick, but th that is that is funny to acknowledge it, though. It's healthy and delicious! What is? Oh, well, I thought maybe I could look at what was on your table and... I saw someone with a really weird haircut walk into the Chinese restaurant a minute ago. Yeah, see, this guy gets it. His haircut is fucked up. Oh. Okay. Mm, how much, uh, where's, okay, money. Well, I've got a decent amount of money. It's, it kind of costs a lot, though. I'll try it anyway. Okay. It's, it, it was sort of worth it, I guess. In. Okay, so, all right, I've come full circle, and that's the restaurant I need to go to continue the story. Huge bees. Uh, I totally didn't see him. Okay, I'm gonna grind until I level up one more time, and then I'm gonna try fighting Utah again. And if I can't, then I'm just gonna give up on it and maybe try another playthrough or something. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm back. I took a break. I had, I had food, uh, time has passed, and we're gonna do some more murder dolls. I don't know why I even bothered doing like a whole like, oh, whoa, there was a break, because like I'm probably gonna skip through most of this part in editing anyway. God, they're weak. Yeah, anyways. Okay. Oh, desperation attack. That's interesting. And bind. Alright, uh, okay. Attacks all enemies has low power and accuracy. Interesting. But I presume... I mean, it doesn't say how much damage they actually do, but I presume it does quite a bit. Wait, no! It's low power and accuracy. I, I guess the point is that it doesn't use much... Doesn't use much, uh, SP. It's interesting, though. And bind. Slight damage and bind stats on an enemy. Okay, that, that's, that's pretty good. I might use that more often, honestly. <sighs> this is gonna be real tough, though. Alright, let's find some more murder dolls. Or an insect, that works. Uh, Alright, that's probably as much as I'm gonna level up, so I just need to get some food in me. Okay, it really doesn't recover much. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna buy... I swear there was a vending machine around here. I'll check the S7-Eleven as well, because I already forgot. Oh yeah, I need more of these. 
Let's get five. And some tea would be nice. And yeah. Oh, actually, you know what? I could try the knife. It's not a bad idea. I think I definitely want to use the lighter though. Okay, Dora Cola. Yes, please. Gimme, gimme. Uh, yeah. Cool. Okay. It's time. Level 8. Okay, okay. Alright. Alright, we're gonna try it. Yeah, I'm, I might die. I might die. Actually, I'm just gonna see- okay. Alright, it's time. I like the look in your eyes. I'm Utah. Okay. I would love to test my strength. Okay! Oh, pressure's on! Okay, but I think I get one free hit on him. So I'm gonna... Let's see... Confusion might be really good. And bind... I don't know if I can do multiple effects at once though. I'll try confusion. Because I'm pretty sure confusion does work. Okay, damn it. Okay, burns! Okay, I got burns. Alright, uh... Okay, um... Uh, god, I'm so nervous. Oh, man! Okay, um... Landslide. Uh... Eh, I'll, I'll try it. Okay. How did it dodge? Okay. 12, 10, 12. Alright, that's not very good. Uh, skills. Um... Um... <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so nervous! Okay, uh... Yeah, I'll try that. Okay. Ooh, okay, that was- that was way better. That was way better. Okay, I need to keep doing that. Okay. Okay, actually, this- this is looking a lot more doable now, although that's a lot of damage. Okay, that's... Oh! 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 He- he harmed his- he harmed his own guy! Okay, that's good! Confuse is really good! Okay! I got one of them down! Alright! This is- Why did I press attack? I- I just panicked. Okay, well... That was barely worth it. Alright, um... Uh... In the interest of not immediately dying, I'm gonna take a Dora Cola. What?! Saints, you motherfucker! Okay, well, you suck, and I hate you. I think I need to get rid of Saints. Because it seems Saints has a revive ability. Okay, Burns, okay, fuck you. Alright, cool. Landslide again. I'm just gonna spam Landslide, I think that's the way to go here. Okay, yes! Okay, I just need- Saints, ah! <gasps> yes! Oh my god, I'm so happy! Mediterranean pasta! Oh my god, look at this! Wow. You're pretty good. Didn't expect to have to go all out. Yeah, I'll talk with him. What, got a question? Yeah? <laughs> are you not used to stand battles yet? Whatever, here goes. Well, first of all, there are a lot of different types of stands. For example, my Saints can fight separately from me and use its own judgement to determine what stand to use. Okay, so it's automatic. This trait comes in handy. For instance, I can attack while it heals, or we can pull off complex combination attacks. However, if its health drops below a certain point, it can no longer function. Because of that, stands like mine are especially weak to poison and moves that inflict continuous damage. Interesting. Attached to a user and stands are remote controlled, but I don't want to bore you. Yeah, I'll keep listening. <laughs> Got nothing better to do, eh? Alright, listen up. Some stands share their body with their host. These types have powerful physical attacks, but almost no defensive techniques. Because of this, they're the easiest stand to master. In addition, their base stats are very high. However, they're useless against faraway opponents and can't take a hit. Okay. Independent stands that are completely separate and don't transfer damage to the user. To defeat them, you have to get at the person controlling it. Okay. These types can be difficult to control, however. It's more like barking orders at a soldier than anything. Of course, if the user runs out of strength, the stand is rendered ineffective. But these stands can always recover as long as the user is unharmed. Okay, so I guess what they're saying is, like, aim for the user most of the time. Yeah. The one caveat is that they get weaker the more they regenerate. If you defeat enough of them, they won't be a threat. Try to keep mental notes on these traits as you fight different stands. I think preparation is the most important part of a battle. You know, you're probably right. Uh, anything else? Mid-bosses? What do you mean a mid-boss? You mean like me and Fro? <laughs> I swear I say it different every time. Actually, now I think about it, I've been seeing a lot of stand users around- Why did I say stand users? Like, that was the emphasize bit around lately. I'm not sure what the cause is, but you're likely to encounter them wherever you go. Be careful not to bite off more than you can chew. You might want to bring a friend with you. This way you'll both grow from the experience and strengthen your bond. 
You know what? Maybe I should have just gone to the restaurant first so I could level up. Jesus Christ, man. Oh, I should really save. Oh, man. I'm, I'm so, so pleased with myself. Uh, yeah, okay. I'll, I'll, have, I'll have one of those. All right, I guess it's polar F time. I guess, I guess this day we fight. Uh, okay. All right. Okay, we might, we might die. After you enter the restaurant, you won't be able to return to Hong Kong. Oh, okay, so, yeah, we literally couldn't just... Yeah, fair enough. I knew it! There's no way it'd be that easy. We'll have to strike air travel off the menu for now. If you get attacked by a stand in the air again, we could put even more people's lives at risk. That leaves us land and sea. Those are the only safe ways left to travel. I see Polner. <laughs> like, immediately my eyes went to Pol Wait, hold the fuck up! Look at the upper right table! That's the part five gang! Is John over there? I don't think so. I, I see Mista, Narancia, Hugo, uh, but Butcherati, I've no idea how to- Okay, that is Jonah on the bottom right. Okay, and Arba. Okay. Uh, but we only have 50 days to reach Dio. We can't afford to endanger Holly any further. Hmm. If it weren't for that plane crash, we'd be in Cairo now. I'm well aware. <laughs> yeah, thanks for pointing it out, dickhead. But no fear. Someone once wrote a book about going around the world in 80 days, and that was back in the days of steam power. Even without airplanes, we should be able to reach Dio in less than half that time. I mean, I guess... I, I've not read that book, but... And I guess, yeah, we, they didn't literally go... They don't literally have to go around the world, they just have to get from Hong Kong to Egypt. Here's what I'm thinking. If I can charter out a ship, we can take it all the way around Malaysia and through the Indian Ocean. Sort of like the Silk Road of the Sea. I agree with this plan. If you go by land, there's things like deserts, the Himalayas, all kinds of complications, basically. Yeah, and borders. I never traveled either way, so I'll just follow your lead. Same here. And here. <laughs> yeah, like, again, this dialogue is basically word for word the original, but, like, they just added my guy to go, like, yeah, me too. <laughs> That's funny. Of course, Dio Stan users are going to be the biggest complication of all, regardless of which route we take. What we really should be thinking about is how we're going to reach our destination undetected. Hmm. Looks like we've been detected. Oh, <laughs> can't you put the lid of the teapot to its side? Hmm? Oh, don't you know? In Hong Kong, this means... <laughs> why did I say, like, Hong Kong? <laughs> We've been putting the emphasis in all the wrong places. Uh, this means refill, please. And Polner turned around, he's like, whoa, really? Then after they bring more tea, you tap on the table twice to say thanks. Wow, you know a lot about this stuff. <laughs> hey, buddy! Hey, that's my man, I love you, Polner Pardon, but could you help me? I'm visiting from France, and I can't seem to read the menu. Go bother someone else! <laughs> Hey, Jotaro, no need to be rude. Excuse him. I've been to Hong Kong enough times to be able to read a menu at least. What would you like? This one's shrimp, this one's duck. Oh my god, that like, that first note just made me think they were gonna start playing the Sans theme. Finally, they brought out Joseph's order. Rice porridge, spit roasted frog, shellfish, and simmered whole fish. Sounds pretty cool. I'm interested in the spit roasted frog. Oh, look at the little, look at the little froggy! <laughs> look at his little arms! Why is he eating with us? <laughs> well, okay. Well, eat up, everyone. It's all on me. Well, the food is good here, so it doesn't really matter what you order, anyhow. Yeah, real shit. <laughs> Suddenly I'm not so hungry. No, it looks good! Shut the fuck up! Eat the frog! Oh, isn't that cute? This place has such a fine attention to detail. Look at how they cut this carrot. It's shaped like a star. You know, I feel like I've seen this before. <gasps> Only Joe Stars know what a star shape is. Oh, I remember now. A friend of mine has a birthmark just like this on the back of his neck. On the base of his neck, excuse me, but both, I guess. Don't tell me. Are you a stand user? The rice porridge in front of Joseph suddenly began to bubble. Mr. Joe Star, get out of the way. A rapier, there's a rapier in the porridge. It's a stand. Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking magician tried to set the table on fire. Oh my god. It slashed the flames, and they vanished! What? On the table's a clock now. Did he do that with his sword? Look, a stand! One that looks like a knight! My stand represents the chariot arcanum. I call it Silver Chariot. Muhammad Abdul, it looks like it wants to take you on first. God, this music's cool. Oh my god, look, the gang over the, <laughs> the table on the right, they're like, damn, what are those fuckers doing? See that table over there? I've carved a clock out of it using your flames. When they reach 12, I will kill you. That's some unbelievable swordsmanship. I've never seen anything like it. But taking me down before the clock strikes 12. Don't you think you're giving yourself a little too much credit, Mr. Uh, 
Call me Polnareff. Jean. Pierre. Polnareff. Man. <laughs> Merci. <laughs> I'm not saying that shit. You know I can't pronounce it. And if there's any people who know French in the comments, they're gonna be like, <laughs> uh, your accent is a uh, shit. How you say it? Merde. Uh, it's very kind of you to introduce yourself. However, hmm. Whoa! Abdul burnt half the table to ashes with a flick of his wrist. Stop making me say French words, I'm bad at it. Polnareff, my flames are not like typical ones. Don't think they can be blown by the wind or they only burn upwards. See, that's cool! I, I wish there were more like usages. Like, usages? That's not fucking. Anyway, like, the way uh, Abdul uses his fire powers is really interesting. There's not many like pyrokinetic uh, characters, I feel, that. Uh, like, just use flames in weird, unnatural ways. These flames bend to my will. That's why I call my stand magicians red. Like, more fire users who can make their flames burn downward. That would be fun. They say the world was born in a sea of flames. I suppose your magician is supposed to be the one that controlled them. A noble stand, indeed. Also, the magician is the first card in the arcana, so... Uh, other than the fool. Oh god, too much credit, he says. Ha! He threw five coins up in the air. I'm not doing that. He skewered the coins with a sword, all in the blink of an eye! No, take a closer look. He pierced Abdul's flames too. I see. He pierced my flames along with the coins. It seems you understand why I did this. <laughs> Call me what you like, but I'm no braggart. I, that's another word I'm bad at pronouncing. My silver chariot can cut fast enough to slice through the air itself. Therefore, your flames are nothing before my sword. My card, the chariot, symbolizes victory and acts of aggression. In a crowded place like this, it would sweep the floor with you. But your sensibility works best in wide open places, does it not, Abdul? Such a one-sided battle isn't becoming of a noble stand like mine. Shall we even the odds a bit? Yeah, okay. Let's go to Tiger Bomb Garden. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Why don't we take this somewhere a little less cramped? Allow me to show you to your deathbed. What is this place? So Tiger Bomb Garden is our battlefield. Oh, that's pretty good sprite work. Is that a chicken? I see a chicken! Allow me to make a prediction, Abdul. Here you will be undone by your own stand's power. <laughs> <laughs> Just making gay eye contact. He seems pretty nonchalant about all this. Abdul. Stand back, Jotaro. It's as he said, my stand performs best in open places such as these. I see where you're coming from, but what if he has us right where he wants us? Let's decide amongst ourselves who will take him on. Wait, can we jump him? Do what you will. I'll eliminate all of you in due time anyhow. Just gang up on him? <laughs> Wait, we can choose another fighter? Oh... Uh... I want to just gang up. I want us all to just start kicking him like that bit in part <laughs> Oh man. And choosing a fighter is interesting. I wonder like how like Joseph or Kakion or Jotaro would solve this. But let's just gang up on him because I- What? Hold on Rowan, isn't that overkill? No, he's trying to kill us. I disagree. A one-on-one -on -one fight is just what the enemy is expecting. See, he clearly- His stand is like a duelist and he's trying to kill us. So in the interest of surviving, we should like just- Kick the shit out of him. Holly's life is on the line here. I say we win by whatever means possible. Yeah! He's the one who ambushed us, ambushed us in the first place. It's only fair. I have no complaints. Still, I don't like unfair fights. I'll watch from the sidelines. Man, Jotaro! <sighs> I mean, I get it, but like, don't you want to kick this guy with me? I apologize, but I'd also rather not get involved. Three people should more than enough. Anyway, damn it, I ruined their gay moment. No? Wait, I'm just gonna say no and see what happens. Oh man, I can't... I can't want to see Kakyoin fight him. Oh, I don't even get to see it, that's okay. Win conditions. Enemies defeated. Failure conditions. Okay. Can't find? Fuck you mean can't find? Okay, well, whatever. Actually, you know what? Hang on. I I'm gonna restart. Give me, give me a moment. Because I actually do want to gang up on him. I think that is that's the best way to get a lot of experience and um, also it's funny. <laughs> I think we should all just punch him to death. All right, we're back. Let's just gang up on him. I, I think I might try the other stuff in like a different save file later, but no, it's not overkill. We'll kill him. Let's, let's <laughs> Everyone just jump him. Gang up on him. This is the best scenario. Yep. Alright, everyone get experience now. Okay, fair enough. I like this, uh, this, um, this theme music. Can't find. Okay, I guess I have to use, uh, a 
attacks that hit everyone. Scarlet Overdrive. I remember that one. Oh, do we all level up as we go along? I guess. Interesting. Wait, hang on. He did- wait, yeah, Harmon Hair Attack! He used that when he- he used that with Stroheim's hair in part two. God, that's funny. That's cool. They- this unrealistic though, because he would not remember that shit. Times ten?! Oh, I wanna- I wanna! Okay, well. Uh... All enemies. Long range, I guess? Do I have any shorter range ones? Nope. Oh, zip time. Well, okay. <laughs> You dodge, bitch. God, he's he's kind of cool. Okay, well, uh, same again. Try it. I mean, probably can't hit him if the status is can't find, but yeah, okay, fair enough. It was worth a shot. He's really not. He's not doing a lot. I'm I'm imagining that what's going to happen is um. He's probably going to have like a second phase when we get his damage down enough. Like he's he's doing that shit where he's like, oh, I'll give you a I'll give you a handicap. Only attacks that target all enemies will have any Yeah, I know. Don't worry, I got that. I know how I know what can't find means. Yeah, get his ass. Oh, what the fuck is wrong with you? Okay. No, 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 no. That's not that's not okay when could actually. Okay, there we go. Oh god. Okay, frightening speed. He tracked down the enemy! What the fuck does that mean? Oh, he froze up in fear! That's what I fucking thought, bitch. He wobbled and fell over, what a fucking clown! Okay, um... I'm gonna quickly... Just, uh... Just gonna... Just have a little... Mm, dark color. I'm gonna, just gonna get ya. Man, he's really not that threatening, honestly. He, he did, like... One... he got me with like one attack that did quite a bit, but for most part it's, it's kind of, uh, kind of underwhelming. Yeah, pretty, pretty weak. Pretty weak, bud. And he froze up in fear! I wonder if that's just like a natural Kakyoin thing, because not many of my other characters have had that effect. Well, like that specific attack? I don't think that attack really said that it would do that in the description, though. I mean, it's like a hidden, hidden value or something. Just, just keep... He's too fast for the- Oh, I can't find him! Well, Kakyon wasn't affected. <laughs> He's like, I see you. Wow. Pretty, uh, pretty easy. Easy, easy clap. <laughs> He's fucking dead! <laughs> Look at him! Looks like we made it. He'd be out of commission for a few months after that attack. No kidding. We fucking vaporized him. Well, we better get going. Egypt's a long way off. <laughs> oh my god, his stand broke into pieces. Oh wait, we got the phase phase two. Bravo! Oh bravo! Bastard. He looks good new aside from a couple scrapes and bruises. Now is he floating in the air like oh okay, I didn't I thought there was like a hole in the ground next to him. Why don't you take a closer look? No. How? Voila! This is my stand! Silver Chariot without its armor! Now, it won't be very knightly of me to just attack you without explaining my stand's power, would it? What say you do a little timeout? This fucking guy. By all means, go ahead. What you'd seen earlier wasn't my stand being dismantled, but just the removal of its armor. What you'd burn was just the pe- We didn't burn anything! Abdul didn't fight! <laughs> just the pieces of armor that did in fact damage me, but not considerably. And now, without all that extra weight, you'll find my stand is quite fast indeed. The reason you couldn't see it lift me is because it's too fast for the naked eye. That's not how it works. I see what you're trying to say is that my crossfire hurt. He didn't use crossfire hurricane. It's able to hit you because the extra weight. By the way, that's a Rolling Stones uh, jumping jack flash reference. I love that song. But without that armor, the next hit will be fatal. You realize that, yes? Well, yes. If it hits, but it's impossible. May I remind you, Paul Nerf, that I can just attack you and <laughs> like, <laughs> like, sure, your stance fast, but you're like a normal guy. You're about to see something that will make you quake in your boots. I mean, I guess the idea is that his stand can defend him, but... Mm. Well, please do show us. He split into seven! What?! His stand multiplied! How? Stands are supposed to be one a person! Looks like my, my prediction was correct again. You're all scared as hell. These are after images, friends. Just Im illusions created from my stand's movements. Now tell me, how does Silver Jared's blade feel now?! 
kind of just want to fight him myself, but... I mean, Aftal's got this, but... Oh, everyone, everyone kick him again. Oh my god, look at him! Whoa! Okay, yeah, I think it was the right choice to have everyone- Oh, I'm healed, that's nice. Oh, and Jotaro's helping now. That's nice of him. Thanks. Uh, yeah, I've, I've, I've got a lot of SP. Uh, concentrated painful punch. Star finger. Okay. Um, bluff. Yeah. I, I don't know that. I mean, none of them have. I don't know how. Um, I mean, I presume I'm still gonna have to do the thing where I have to like shoot all of them at once. Uh, yep. He's resting out of sight. Oh, and he gets HP back! What a dick! Oh my god. Joseph did not care. Jeez. At least I don't deal too much damage. Very glad- <laughs> Okay. <laughs> they, they just didn't care about that one. Oh, Polarev! <laughs> he scared Polarev! Oh my goodness. Goodness gracious. Okay. Wow. This would have been really hard as just Abdul. Like, I was kind of thinking, wow, god, that's a lot of damage. Oh, hey, Polyrath. <laughs> I was kind of thinking, um, like, if you did leave it to Abdul, the fight would play out as a cutscene, but I think it would just be me versus, like, as Abdul versus, um, Polnareff, and that, that sounds kind of hard. Um... I'm gonna try Desperation Attack and leave, leave you go. Actually, that's not gonna hit. I have a can't find status. Fine! I guess I'll stick to my tried and true method of just... Mm, I can... Yeah, okay, I'm normal. Uh, I wanna try Star Punch. And... I think he's close range? Oh, cool! What the hell? That's really good! Okay, uh, bind him. Oh wait, no, he's medium. Never mind. Uh, wait, do I have any medium? Ah, whatever the fuck. And, yeah. It's useless! You can take as many swipes at the after images as you like, but you'll never hit my stand! Way. <laughs> then I'll just have to hit you, won't I? That's what I'm saying! He's watching closely. Doosh. <laughs> Everyone kill him! He's got pretty high defense, though. Oh, you bitch. Okay, well, that's fine. Everyone, everyone just do the, just keep, keep doing what you've been doing. Uh, yup. He's resting out of sight while I can see him. Get him. He froze up in fear. That's gotta be. I need to have Kakyoin, like, just in my party normally so I can actually look at his stats, because I need to know if that's just, like, a passive, like, effect he has terrifying his enemies. Or am I just getting very strange RNG? That could be it. Wow, no, I- I swear that's an effect of Hiram Barrier! He wobbled and fell over! What a fucking loser! Wait. Oh no, I still have can't find status, never mind. Uh, Yeah. God, he has a lot of SP! That fucking Joseph. Uh, I was thinking, like, uh, maybe I should... I kind of want to use Scarlet Overdrive. It's not the right range for it, but... I might even get the chance to use it. He's gotta be... He's some flying! Oh my god! Joseph! He wasn't even at the right range! Jesus fucking Christ! I'm kind of reeling, like, I'm sorry, I didn't realize, like, he was going, like, my opponent is Cosmo, Jesus. <laughs> oh, and I got an ointment, that's great. Oh my god! <laughs> he just had so much- it's his moisturizer. Wow. He was truly noble until the very end. It'd be a waste to kill him. I suppose Dio took advantage of him, just like he did me. Looks like he doesn't have any strength left to fight. Now Jotaro, kill him! Yeah, I'll extract it. Yeah, Those tentacles always gross me out. Hopefully now that we've taken the spore out, he'll be a good sport about coming with us. I hope he's not a spore loser. <laughs> Kakion, don't guys that make stupid puns all the time piss you off? No. Actually, yes, but I like doing them and it's okay when I do it.
And so, one day passed and Jotaro and his friends arrived at the harbour. Current day two. Oh, this is cute music. Well, we got a bit of time before our ship arrived, so... Might as well kick back at the harbour for a bit. It's been just one fight after another recently, so it'll be nice to relax for once. We'll meet up at the port of... Uh, at the port up north afterwards. Have fun, take it easy, guys. Oh, but be careful. Apparently there's been a series of bizarre incidents in this town recently. Keep on your toes. Could be Dio's work. Mmm. Ponderef? Port up north. Got it. He appears to be deep in thought. Hey, we did not fucking say you could come with us. Why are you even here? Shouldn't you be in hospital? I thought I killed you. Thought you died. I'm, I'm tempted. Could, could, uh, could get some cool, cool upgrades or whatever. But, okay, well, I didn't mean to save over that, but I'll, I'll save there now. But too, too late now. Anyway, regardless, that, that's gonna do it for today. Uh, this has been a lot of fun. I, I really enjoyed kicking Polnareff's ass and I love that they gave us the choice of like who would fight him. Uh, I'm still curious about what happens, but I'll probably have to explore that in a, another route, like off camera or something. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you check out my links to Patreon and Ko-fi in the description below, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye!